your child in a nice way, then your child will turn out in the future to be a better person. Amen. Equally, if you bring up your child in not a wise way, then the child might turn out to be something or someone else different from what you expect in the future. To add on to that, and uh, this mass, I want to tell you in the book of First Peter 5 to 8, the Bible says that be of sober mind, be sober minded and be watchful and that your adversary, the devil, prowls like a like a, a roaring lion and that it is looking for someone to devour to destroy to eat so we need to be very watchful in our families in our country as we bring up our children you as a parent I know that you love your child so much most of us here, as parents, we wake up very early in the morning to take care of our children, to look for school fees for them, to look for food for them, what to eat, to look for rent so that they can get a shelter, and you can equally get a shelter. And we are going through a lot by doing very odd jobs so that your child can succeed in life. But that is not enough. We must bring up our children in the best way possible. The current, the present challenges that we are experiencing in life is as a result of poor upbringing of our children. It's as a result of not showing our children the right direction. So our children, when they turn out to be adults later on, and even now, you find that they do certain activities that are not impressive, that are not good to the community. That is as a result of the childhood trauma. Your child has been traumatized because number one, you lacked time for that child. So therefore as a parent, create time for your child. The love language for children, number one, is touch. They like to be carried, they like to feel the love, the warmth, that is when they know that you love them. Number two is by, by giving words of affirmation, affirmation. Affirmation. You tell them how industrious they are. You remind them how kind they are. How better people they are. How generous they are. So that they know. Usiamuke kila siku kuita mtoto mbuzi. Uyo mtoto siku moja utatamuka kipiga mee alafu kusema sasa mwenda mtoto wapi. No matter how hard situation is, make sure you bring your child in the best way. Another one is through by giving gifts, presents, so that they feel loved. Encourage them. While they are in school, encourage them. Your child might not be doing well in school, but that is your child. But encourage them that they can do better. They are getting 10% in class, tell them that they can score a 20. They are getting 20, tell them they are capable of scoring a 50%. And if they are getting 50 or 70, tell them that they can get 80 or 90. Through that, your child will feel encouraged. They will feel that they don't want to disappoint you and disappoint themselves. And therefore, they will work hard enough. Bring your child in the godly way. Train your child in his or her early years in the best way possible so that when they grow up, they will not depart from what you taught them in their early age. So that our, ch our children can be our friends. 80% of the people in prison currently came from broken families. Broken families means that a child was brought up as a total orphan. All parents died. Number two, a child was brought up from a single parenthood. There is something that a mother can give to a child, 
and there's something that equally only a dad can give to a child. So a child need, needs both parents. And a broken family also means that the parent, the mother and the father are present, but they are in an abusive marriage. You are a father, you beat your wife. The child, children learn by what they see. When they grow up, they will start beating their wives because that is what they saw and they know to be a father is to be like my dad. To be a mother is like to be like my mom. Children learn by what they see, not mostly what they hear. That's why you can tell a child one thing ten times and they still repeat the same mistake. But what they see is very important. So let them see dating as a husband and wife. By praying together as a husband and wife. By providing as a husband so that the, your boy child can know that it is the work of a man to provide. By being present. By being available for your family so that they will be available for their families. By being together. Eating supper or dinner together. Going to church together so that your child can grow up in the best way possible. Currently, we are faced with so many gender-based violence. It is because of poor upbringing. So therefore, let us bring up our children in the best way possible. And let us encourage them and to our children. I want you to embrace education. Education is the key to success. The roots of education are so bitter, but the fruits are so sweet. I want you to get education because education is what will get you from where you are to another level in life. Because of education, you will move from one city to the other. Because of education, you will move from one country to the other. And because of education, you will be a leader. You will be a person who will change the destiny of this nation. And therefore, embrace education. Do not be discouraged. If you are performing, if you are not performing well in class, do not worry. Continue working hard. Do not stay there. Make sure that you continue revising and revising for practice makes perfect. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Tunaelewana vizuri? Nataka ni washukuru sana. Mtawachia hapo. Mimi kama mtumbeweni wapa embakasi East constituency. Nikona nini pamoja. There is this road that is passing through the church. In this next financial year that we are going to start, naenda kutafuta jinsi ambavyo, hii barabara, waanze kuitengeneza, lami wekwe, at least matope siwe hapa. Siyo ni sawa? In addition to that, as your member of parliament, last time I did not come here, I had exams, bado nafanya mtiali, kwa watoto wetu ambao wako hapa, learning aishi. Hata kwa wazazi wetu. Mimi nilikuwa nafanya mtiani so hiyo Saturday ndio niliona wacha nichukue time vizuri ni revise but leo nimefika hapa siku ya leo na tena nimeleta contribution yangu ya 150000 Kenya shillings na nawaomba msirudishe venye ile nyingine nilikuwa Asanteni sana